Hey guys, Caleb here, and in this video, I want to get rid of these. I'm so tired of cables in general, and in a lot of ways, we're going wireless these days. We have wireless HDMI uh, for using monitoring systems, a lot of Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz stuff. Uh, our audio is often wireless, so the last thing, the last piece of the puzzle, if you will, for me, has always been the headphones but it's such a necessity for monitoring audio. And in a lot of instances, uh, it really is a hindrance. So it'd be amazing to have Bluetooth wireless headphones for monitoring cameras. Maybe just be able to quickly check audio or completely monitor wire free. So in this video, we are going to grab a whole bunch of Bluetooth transmitters and we're gonna hunt down the best one for use with your camera. So I went out and bought a whole bunch of different low latency systems, including a pair of headphones. I also have my trusty Audio-Technica BT-50s or M50s. So I'm gonna really try to do my best to find something that'll work for us. My number one concern is latency. I wanna make sure it's as close to what's happening in real life as possible. So test number one is going to be a very simple camera setup. We're gonna have a transmitter connected to the headphone jack of this a7 III, and then we're also going to be using a more complicated setup using the Mix Pre 3 over here, and we're gonna figure out what kind of latency is working, because I'd love to have an audio bag and just headphones like this that I could put on, and I'm good to go for monitoring sound. So let's get started, and we're gonna start with the cheapest option and work our way up to the more expensive stuff. And our first option is this guy right here. It's just a generic wireless audio transmitter. So it has USB for power, and then we can flip it around, nothing really else going on, power button, and then we have an output, or rather an input, for our camera. I'm going to be using this ridiculous overkill <laughs> battery here, uh, but you could obviously use something much smaller. Some of our future options will not need this. So next we're going to be plugging this thing into the a7 III, but first we have to pair it. And for the most part, pairing all these devices is very similar. You simply turn on or supply power to whatever transmitter you're using. Then you get your headphones and go ahead and power them up and hopefully they connect to each other. And there now it's connected, got a solid light on the adapter. So now I'm gonna take this monstrous thing and plug it into my a7 III and put the headphones on and hope that the latency isn't terrible. So here we go, check one, two, test one, two. It's pretty bad, but 14 bucks. So I did the initial test on the camera, it sounded pretty bad, but now we're gonna use the recorder to figure out exactly how much latency there is. And now you'll be able to hear what I'm hearing when I put these headphones on. So you can see here, I've got a microphone, a lav mic, plugged into my Mix Pre 3, and we're recording what these headphones are hearing. So it won't sound perfect, but you'll get the idea. I also have a microphone just off of frame here. I can actually lightly touch it here, and you can hear uh, that it's actually recording. There goes a vehicle in the distance, and we're going to see between the recording of the microphone and the actual recording of the headphones, how much of a delay there is. Now you're, now listening, you're listening to, to the, the microphone, microphone and, and the, the headphones. headphones. You, should you should hear, hear the, difference the difference in latency. latency. And I'll put some information somewhere as to how much that latency is or how long it is. So that's our cheapest option. Now we're gonna run through all the rest. Now that we know the testing situation here, we can just barrel through the rest of these. Our next option is this Teotronics tiny little transmitter here. I'm not gonna take this and plug it into the A7 III. And as you can see, a very nice little tidy setup there. So I'm gonna throw on the headphones. We'll see if this is any better than our last one, guys. Check one, two. Wow. Actually, this is a little better, I think, but we'll find out on the recorder. Check, check one, two. two. Test, Test one, two. two. Check. check. Test Testing one, one two. two. Check, check. Test. Test. Next up, we have this Fox Novo transmitter. Got it right here. And this thing's a little larger, so let's bring it over to the Mix Pre 3 and see what it sounds like. And this, this is, is what, what it sounds like if you were listening to this setup right here, right, right now. now. Definitely, Definitely still, still some latency. latency. Here's, Here's how, how much latency, latency there is. is. Let's, let's move on to the next item. item. And our next item is the Hagabis, Hagabis, something like that. Tiny little transmitter. I'm really excited and hoping this one works because it would be perfect for our use case. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our tiny little transmitter. What's cool about this one is you can plug it in, uh, but it also is flexible. So you can kind of create different 
angles with it, which is awesome. So I've got it paired up with my headphones and you can see I've got it mounted to the camera here. And this is the perfect option in my opinion, if there was, you know, low latency. We've got this adorable little setup with uh, this little dongle essentially sticking right out of the headphone jack. So here goes nothing, putting the headphones on and definitely some latency. So we're gonna be listening to that latency right, right now. now. So, so at this point, at this you, point can you can hear what that, that tiny, tiny little Bluetooth, Bluetooth transmitter, transmitter sounds, sounds like going, going to the headphones, the headphones and what kind of latency you can, you can expect, expect with it. With Unfortunately, it's not, it's not great. great. And our next option is also from the same company, uh, Avant Tree, very similar to that Fox Nova option we looked at earlier. And, and this, this is what it would sound like if you were using this solution to monitor yourself. And next up we have the Avant Tree Priva Priva 3. So we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a shot and see if it's any good. Now, this and several of these products have something called APTX or low latency CSR. It's just essentially supposedly gonna help with latency. And now we have the headphones hooked up with a microphone and we're gonna be listening to the, to audio, the audio latency right, right now. now. So now, so you're, now hearing you're hearing what, what I, would I would be hearing, hearing if I was wearing, wearing, wearing these headphones. headphones. And as you can tell, it's not great, which is really unfortunate. Hopefully we're gonna find something that works at least better than this. And our next item is from the same company, but this one's a little different. So let me get the box all ready here. And you can see that there are actually two devices here, a transmitter and a receiver. So. We're gonna see if this guy is gonna work better than the previous options. Instead of having a single transmitter like this one, where the audio goes in and then it Bluetooth transmits to a Bluetooth set of headphones, this little silver set does something a little different. One of them is a transmitter, the TX. It's going to take the signal from the headphone jack and transmit it to the other little device here, which is the RX. This will then plug into a normal set of headphones. Now, you can either use a corded one or use something like, you know, these headphones I have here and a tiny little cable. You could then attach it or tape it or glue it to your headphones. So it essentially is turning a normal set of headphones into Bluetooth headphones, but these are designed to be super low latency. So let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm going to take my headphones here, take the receiver and plug it in. This was paired out of the box. So I just pulled it out of the box and turned them on. I'm now going to take the transmitter, which has that special APTX you know, technology, and I'm going to connect it to my Mix Pre 3. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if this works. I'm going to put my headphones on the correct way. And oh my gosh, for the first time in this video, we have low latency thank goodness i was really concerned we get to the end of these and there would be no good options and now we'll connect a microphone to these headphones so you can hear what i just heard so that should be good enough right there and here is what it sounds like when you're listening to this setup you'll hear my voice you'll hear the headphones and unlike the previous options uh this is so much better there's still a tiny bit of latency but for live audio i think this is amazing so so far, this is going to be our best option. Let's see if there's anything else that's going to compete. And our last setup or our last solution is from the same company, Avantri, but this time they have a special pair of headphones that link with this transmitter. Same technology as a lot of the other ones. So I'm hoping this one will work. All right, so let's talk about this setup. We've got the headphones here, Bluetooth. We've got the Bluetooth transmitter, and we're going to go ahead and power everything up. So I'll turn on the headphones. I'll bring in a USB battery for our transmitter because it does require USB power. I know this is again overkill for something like this. If I grab an aux cable, 3.5 millimeter, plug it in. Now it's set to aux. Now we can pair it up. In fact, it's already paired. It's just out of the box, ready to rock and roll. So we're going to take this thing, plug it into the Mixpre 3 and see what latency looks like. Check, 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 check. Okay, so this is great. This is actually pretty doggone low when it comes to latency. Just a little bit there, but I can totally talk and listen to myself at the same time without my brain exploding. So let's go ahead and hook up a microphone to these headphones so you can hear what latency is like. All right, guys, so right now you're listening to my microphone going into the mix pre and transmitted over to the headphones. So you're listening to the setup pretty good i think the latency is still there but it's definitely not nearly as bad as some of the other solutions we looked at before 
So we just went over a ton of information, uh, several different devices for wirelessly monitoring your audio. So now I'm gonna kind of go through final recommendations. If latency means nothing to you, you do not care and you want the cheapest possible option, these little Bluetooth transmitters are fine, but pretty much would not recommend them because they don't have a built-in battery. So unless you're absolutely broke, skip this guy don't recommend it. The next best option, in my opinion, is going to be this guy right here, the Tautronics transmitter. It has a built-in battery, so you can use it without any kind of USB battery. It does have some latency issues, but if that's not important to you, this could be a great way to go. Moving up a little bit in cost, I love the form factor of this tiny little Bluetooth transmitter. The fact that you can bend it into any shape that you prefer is awesome. So if you're looking for the best on-camera headphone monitoring system for Bluetooth, and latency doesn't matter to you, then definitely consider this guy. These two larger devices, while they do work, the latency was still an issue. So I'm gonna say, go ahead and skip those two, unless you're buying something for your TV set. Same thing goes with this guy over here, this Avantri little round guy. And then finally, we have kind of the two best lowest latency options. And that is the Avantri little pucks here, which have worked really well. And I think this is a phenomenal option. And you don't need Bluetooth headphones. You can use whatever headphones you want as long as you can plug a 3.5 millimeter into them. And then the other option, which was also very low latency, was this kit that included the transmitter and the headphones. Great, great low latency option. Unfortunately, you have to supply power to this unit, so it's gonna be a little bulky for on-camera stuff, but for an audio bag, this could be a really nice solution. Now, I think this setup right here involves using the headphones. If you do use your own headphones, you might not have the same results, but for 90 bucks, you get everything you need to get some decent low latency when it comes to monitoring your audio. So I hope you enjoyed that comparison. For me, these little round things are gonna be perfect for my project that we'll be talking about here in the future. So stay tuned for that on the channel. We're building a really awesome audio kit. So that's gonna wrap things up for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.